Welcome back. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about one of my personal favorite topics, which is strumming. So strumming is this activity where we articulate multiple strings together. It is as simple as this. Mastering strumming is not that hard. If you follow the four step process that I ask you to do, you will get your strumming right every single time you play. So number one is how do you grip the pick? And when I say grip, you have to hold it tight. You have to make sure that the pick is not moving around between your fingers. Do not tighten your wrist. At this stage, you need to learn to bring some fluidity to your wrist. So make sure that your wrist is loose. Do this exercise. Grip your pick tightly and then try to relax your wrist. Because your movement for strumming is not this. It is not this, it is just straight wrist moving very fluidly. The third fundamental thing that you will remember about strumming is how many strings are you going to articulate on your way down as well as on the way up. Strumming involves a two-step motion where you're going to do downstrokes as well as upstrokes. When you do the downstroke, I want your downstroke to be as accurate as possible. Imagine that we are playing a chord that contains all six strings for example an E minor chord what you will be doing is while you move your pick downwards you have to make sure that you get all six strings now when you come back up when you do your upstroke I want you to be completely carefree do not worry about how many strings you hit even if you don't hit anything once in a while that's absolutely fine watch what happens if I don't hit it Your downstroke will be accurate and your upstroke is going to be carefree. Even if you just get one or two strings on the way up, that's absolutely fine. When it comes to accuracy of the downstroke, suppose you move to a different chord. Let's take A minor for an example. In the open position, the A minor chord will generally use only the five strings, the top five strings, and it will be skipping the sixth string. So you need to ensure that while you hit the strings, you have to play the right number of strings when you do the downstroke but while coming back up you can be absolutely carefree you can get just one string uh, on the way up or you can just move your hand uh, in the right motion even if you don't hit anything once in a while that's absolutely fine so it, it can be like this I'm actually playing all five strings on the way down but when I come back up I'm only hitting one or two strings so make sure that your downstroke is accurate and your upstroke is absolutely carefree that brings us to our fourth and most important point for every downstroke you do you are going to do an upstroke even if you are not going to play the strings the hand will come back recoil and then do a downstroke again imagine that your wrist is more like a wiper on your car or like a piston where once you start it, it continuously does this motion like a pendulum. It swings in both ways. You will never see it swinging one side and then stopping. I want you to watch and observe how I am strumming some chords and you will see many a times I will not be playing anything. Not on all occasions I will be hitting the string but I want you to observe how my hand still keeps moving. Okay, listen to this. No matter where you are in your playing right now, even if you are an absolute beginner, I want you to sound professional at least with this one thing right from your first day itself. And if you get things right, you are going to sound amazing on the guitar. So make sure you follow these four tips and I'll see you in the next lesson.